Hey. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are from. It is Monday. It is capture rate day. It is also 100% raid item find day for the week. Uh, which, which we don't need. Uh, but it is, it is capture rate day. For us, at least. Aircom, what up, my friend? Uh, let's get all our buffs on. And we'll do our PvP and uh, trial and uh, all that shit. Did I miss one? I did not miss one. First, as always, and then we'll get stuck in. Okay, I am short on... Not short, because I've got 100 left, but that always makes me panic. So I'm just going to buy a bunch of these. So I have some in stock. Because as soon as I get on 100, I'm like, oh shit, I'm running out. Wait, I like cheesecake. Me too. <laughs> uh, the old chat in game and also chat in chat. How many do I have now? 94? What? What did I buy? Mine a gold potion. Yeah, what the hell? Why do I only have 94? Eh? Is it maybe I just need to log out and back in for it to... For it to, like, decide that I've got it? I definitely did not have, like, 10. Okay, apparently I had 10. That's not right. I had definitely the same as these. Maybe it's just lagging. We'll check that in a sec. Anyway, um, let's get our stuff going. And then get these done. Right. We'll do four and then five, two fives. Bahamut or whatever his name was. Let's do it. Oh yeah, it's Bit Heroes! Yay! It is. Uh, hi Chalk, you brought five at a time before instead of fifty. Oh, did I? Right. <laughs> That's probably why. I thought I bought fifty. Uh, we we all know that I'm done. All right. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him, dude. Uh, I don't know if you were here last Bit Hero stream. Oh, you see me? Right? Um, or, or whatnot, but we we got all of the um, Nostus, we got all of the dungeon fams we need for plus five um, Bobdom. So all we need is three Ragnars and we have plus five. Uh, so we're just going just for Yeti now. I was going to put a Yeti, I was going to put a Yeti counter up in the top left or something up here of how many times he's failed us and how many Yetis we've thrown into the decomposing Yeti pit, but it appears I've forgotten to do so. Uh, we can quickly do that, probably, but anyway. We really need to max out our um, badges and stuff. So it's just 15, so you can just smash 3, 5 out in a row. It's not really that big of a deal, and it's not that important as far as a, a guild perk goes, because, um, you know, it's just natural regen. You're still going to be able to do the same amount of raids or uh, trials, got with PvP, whatever it is, in the day. It's not like you get more than everybody else, it's just you can hold more at one time. So it's not really that good of an upgrade. Could have just kept them at 10 and put um, XP and item find in instead. But just having 15 all done so it's maxed out and you can just do three in a row would be nice. But it's definitely not, it's definitely not important. Been waiting for this stream all day. Oh, that's nice. Here we are too. Oh, I should, I should mention in world chat. Let's test that my macro works as well. Okay, it does. Let's quickly activate world chat and do that. I did ask a mod. I asked Zelda. Or Zeldy, as it turns out. What am I doing? Um, her name's Zelda, but on, on game she's Zeldy. If I could do world chat things. And she goes, it's not really the best, but Roman K does it. So if he does it, we can all do it, basically. And, you know, promoting yourself is, is just something you kind of have to do. So... Just smash them out. Turn world uh, chat off before I get abused. <laughs> Where is world chat? I went past it. Oh no. There we go. Uh, yeah, if other people do it, I can do it, right? You did it in ch Yeah, I did it in guild to test out that the macro worked. Because I don't want to type it every time. So I just did it to check if the macros work. <clears throat> Also, I guess that alerts people in the guild as well. 
if if someone's in there, like like um Eagle or something. Uh, I mean, he's part of the Discord and stuff, but not everyone sees him, I guess. Oops. Accidentally pressed enter. I did get in in here in expedition because I'm going for this expedition, this portal particularly, um, for that chest that has two percent jewel strike on it, which will take me up to like thirty nine point four or something jewel strike, so close to forty percent. Um, ignore. If you're in, if you're in guild chat right now, uh, if you're in, sorry, if you're in um, Twitch chat right now, and you need a, a slot, tell me, and I can probably work it in. But I'm assuming that's just someone adding me from world chat that's seen I, I said I was streaming. They're like, oh shit, a high level person. High ish level person. Because as soon as you type in world chat anything, people inspect you. Like they look at your character and they're like, oh shit, he's over level 300. Send, re uh, send a request. Which is fair enough. I mean, if you're low level, you have to do whatever you can to get those uh, friend slots. Um, but I give away my slots on stream. So. Or in Discord, one of the two. But I don't advertise that as like a reason to come into into my stream because that kind of seems a bit like a bit dickish. It's like come to my stream, you can get a, uh, you might be able to get a friend site, and then people attend just for that. Doesn't seem right. So uh, yeah, I don't do that. And I'm happy to give my slots to literally anybody. Um, there's no, there's no real point giving me, me giving my slots to someone in like level 250 plus or something because they're probably not going to need me. They've probably got a lot of a lot of other people in guildies and stuff. But anyone that's you know under level 100 or something, level 150, like new players and stuff, I'll be super helpful for. So anyone that's still like in the low zones, like the first four or five zones or something, it's probably helpful. Um, but yeah, it's not much point in me having higher level people on my friends list. I've got a few. Uh, like I've got like Bob uh, who I sometimes I use and also like we talk a lot and stuff so if it's someone I talk to a lot uh, then oh holy crap that jewel strike or whatever it was a crit something something just absolutely destroyed them uh, then I keep them on my friends list because they're you know friends and whatnot like IRL friends or online friends but yeah generally I uh, I don't have the high levels best bid hero streamer oh that's nice you're biased because you love me <laughs> but I appreciate it either way I guess I'm like the OG right well technically McProseph's the OG he was the first one to make um to make Beat Heroes content as far as I know I'm not entirely sure um and then I started making content and I made those like beginner guides and stuff because there weren't really any guides out there was like some written guides like Bob's guide which is hasn't been updated since the start it's still kind of useful but uh, I kind of saw that, you know, maybe some guides on this game would help because it's not very clear a lot of the time what's going on. And they've been helpful for a lot of people. So everyone, everyone that's watched them basically has said, holy shit, thank you in comments and stuff. So that's really good. It's really good that I can help. Um, so yeah. Uh, and Dark Souls, I don't know about that, man. I don't know about that. Look, if I'm in, if I'm entertaining, even by sucking, then that's good. Yesterday I got the Mythic Schematic for um, Extermination World Boss and got 20 friends requests, not even exaggerating. Yeah, I don't doubt it, man. Uh, I dare you to sit out in town like I do, 66 requests. All right, I'll do it. Why not? And Mario? <laughs> A lot of streaming things, right, isn't particularly... Um, is it particularly the content you're making? It's just hanging out and like the um, personalities and stuff. Like if you like the person's personality. Like um, I think it was like William and this mount's pretty funny. William and uh and uh, Josh and Zeta and I think Black Boy and a few others have just said, yeah, it doesn't matter what you're playing. We'll, we'll just come out and come and hang out. Here we go. There's one. Which is nice, I appreciate that. Uh, maybe we should put on something that only, like, higher level friends would have. Oh, I guess the gun is a good indication as well, right? To make you, like, you know, look like you've got good shit. Uh, what can we put on? Hmm... I like this helmet, let's just put this on. 
this this actually looks pretty cool too and we'll put on maybe this or maybe the oh that's not what I wanted to do put on uh, this back on and maybe the wings might look cool as well okay that'll do yeah we look like someone <laughs> that's a bit a bit leveled we'll see how many we get okay into trials there's two <clears throat> it's not about the games it's about me Aww. uh aircon what is it eric <laughs> you're now eric <laughs> amazing Aircom, where are you? Oh, Fisherman! Fisherman Joe, I like it. Yeah, I, I've been thinking, I think I mentioned that in the fishing stream actually. Oh, we're getting crushed. No, nope, we're good. Um, Eric, that's so good. Uh... I mentioned that in the fishing stream, like what I should use my bait on. And considering fishing is horrible, um... The fish tank offhand? There's a fish tank offhand? What's the? F put it on. I don't. I don't even know what that is. Oh, that's what it is. Aquatic ward. What the hell is that from? <laughs> yeah, that's freaking great, man. My bad, aircon. Exped uh, expedition set item. This. That's pretty cool, man. I like that. I mean, we're never going to use any other offhand, offhand but the chicken. Like, I'm resigned to that fact. Um, even if it doesn't suit our um like this does not suit our our outfit but still from the new world boss i haven't done that new i did that world boss new world boss like for two days and then you know i'm using all my energy for um capture rate so i'm not getting any of those cosmetics i should probably do it at some point because you know cosmetics are cool and whatnot hey anthony welcome dude Expedition, extermination, similar words, yeah. At least this boss is kind of a pushover. Okay, never mind. I used that potion too, just to get rid of it. I couldn't handle it anymore. Oh, Jesus. I don't know whether it's him that's doing that, or, or that other... That other enemy hitting the back line. I think it might. Oh no, it's definitely him. Or maybe it was a combination. Okay. This this boss is usually not that bad. I don't know what's going on. He's just hitting like a beast. Was that a whiff? I think it might have been a whiff. Oh, there we go. The empower heal. Should be able to order it from there. Still, not one set or mythic or even legendary drop from trials gauntlet since doing 680 just the, the worst rng uh no one said anthony so i guess it's time to go back into the void slash lurk mode I, well i said i said anthony um i said welcome like i don't know you're there i don't know anyone's there unless they unless they say hi but once you said hi i said hi back but you can lurk i don't mind Okay, we need to do the four one. I didn't hear it. Yeah, no, I definitely said hello. Twitch is being buggy too much. Yeah. Did you get that Vivaldi? Um, fishing stream? No, I'm never doing a fishing stream ever again. Oh yeah, I got off topic there. Um, get the Vivaldi um, internet browser. Apparently it's, it's much better for Twitch. Like it doesn't buffer and stuff as much. Fishing stream? I already did a fishing stream. I did an hour long fishing stream. Never again. Maybe, maybe not never again, but not anytime soon. How, how can it be entertaining? It's, it's just me talking crap the whole time and fishing, which is horrible. Anyway, what I was talking about the fishing was just like, what should I use my bait on? Should I get a better rod or a better, um, or a better bait, a better bobble thing? Lua, whatever they're called. Or should I just use it on cosmetics and get the fishing set? Because like the cosmetics is, is probably way better. Or you can get um, stat points, but they're like mad expensive. The only reason I haven't used them yet is if fishing gets an overhaul, 
which it probably will at some point because it's so bad. So if, especially now Congregate owns Bit Heroes, maybe they'll just do an overhaul of fishing and then that way I'm, I'm holding onto my seashells. So when they do an overhaul, if they do an overhaul, um, there's like better rewards and stuff and I just have all these seashells sitting there and I can get better rewards. That's kind of why I haven't used them yet as well. And I probably won't just for that case. But you know, if six months from now, there hasn't been an overhaul, then I'll just use them on, on the um, cosmetics. Because I, I, I fish each week until I catch a an epic and then I stop. And yesterday I did fishing for this this week's or fortnight's, however long it is, um, fishing event thing. And I only got a uh, rare, but I got over 200 points. I'm like, I'm not doing any of this. Uh, as you can see, we want it. Okay, well, we'll do another fishing stream, but not anytime soon. Maybe in like a month or something or, or more. Um, do a Minecraft fishing instead. I didn't even know you could fish in Minecraft. I haven't played Minecraft since it was in beta. Um, like when I played it, you couldn't even go to the, is it the void or something? Like where you make the big obsidian um, oblong thing, rectangle. And you put like the, and you make the portal thingy. You can go to nether, is it nether? Maybe nether. That wasn't even in the game when I, when I played Minecraft. So I haven't played it in a gajillion years, but there's like, there's every 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 freaking content creator plays Minecraft, so it's it's oversaturated, and I'm not particularly interested, you know, in all seriousness. Yeah, cosmetic, the truant game, <laughs> a bobber. Yeah, I think the bob is the best option. Like if you're going for um, like strategy and actual use usefulness, the bobber is the better option because it helps you catch fish easier. I don't even know if the, the further you cast is the better fish you get because I've caught legendary fish like by throwing it one meter more than they start with. Um, so the bobber is, is definitely better, but yeah, I don't think it's it's particularly useful. Um, it's not about the game, it's about the streamer. Yeah, yeah I know, I know, but I, like, <laughs> it's so bad. Like, I don't, I don't want to do it. And we were just talking Dark Souls, like, play something I want to play. I don't particularly want to do fishing, but if you guys really want it, I'll do it. Uh, I guess people want you to see you talk shit. I always talk shit. That's the whole point. I'm always talking rubbish. Fish and talk shit. The Minecraft fishing was a joke? Oh, right, okay. Can you actually fish in Minecraft, though? The Nether, yeah. Um, technically I have Minecraft. Is Minecraft free to play? Or do you have to buy it? I feel like you have to buy it, but I don't know. Either way, I, I bought the beta back when it was in beta. So technically I own it. I don't know how the hell to log in. You have to buy it? Okay. I don't know how to log in. Um, because it's not on Steam, right? Or is it on Steam now? Your fishing stream is the most memorable stream. It's not on, not on Steam. Stream the Steam. It's like 20 bucks, yeah. No, I, I, I do own it. I bought it back in um, the beta. I think it might even be more than that because I was helping the devs and stuff. Uh, when it was like, when it when you got access to the beta and stuff and everyone was just like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I bought it for like, kind of like the hype thing just to see what it was about. Um, but yeah, played it for like a couple of weeks and then stopped because there was, apart from just like the Lego aspect of building shit, there was nothing else to do effectively. There was no like, now there's dungeons and NPCs and all that, right? I mean, maybe, maybe we can just do like a, you know, a, a, a Minecraft stream and just like go dig down into the bottom of the map and get destroyed by stuff. Lo loads to do. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Did I just change my runes? I wasn't paying attention. I did, okay. Let's start the, um, 20 minutes in. <laughs> Let's start doing capturing. Three Ragnars. We're going to get them all in this stream. You watch. Uh, how are my pets? Uh, yeah, they're really good. Luna's a cat, so, you know, she's a demon, but she's pretty good. She's really cute. Zelda's been pretty good. Um, she had a little bit of an issue. Had to take her... Pure poo. <laughs> Had to take it to the vet like I don't know, a few weeks ago. It wasn't for a particular like she wasn't sick or anything. Um, she just uh, needed like her yearly checkup. But she was also like I think I talked about this actually. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. She was like scooting on her butt. Uh, and I'm like ah oh, crap because I, I went to hospital and the day I 
like left the hospital she was fine running around like crazy you know, like a mad thing because she's still like three years old she's still basically a puppy and she's just full of excitement and stuff and she was fine and then i came home like four days later and uh she was still happy and excited as anything but then she like start like you know when they put their butt on the ground they scoot forward and i'm like ah crap like what's wrong and that in my head and i think the conception with everybody is if a dog does that they probably got worms apparently that's just a like a misconception and that's not actually the case it's like a 10 percent of the time that's what it is but most of the time this is going to be an awkward not awkward this is going to be a uh well maybe awkward for you guys i don't know i don't mind discussion um topic most of the time apparently it's because they can't express the anal glands uh so when they t typically like um squat and drop a log um it, it as they're pushing it out it will express the anal glands like it'll stretch the anal glands and, and they'll like come out like they'll be expressed while they while they drop the log um but if your dog is sick or it has diarrhea or or just for whatever reason some dogs just have build-ups and stuff then it gets like a build-up and it's uncomfortable and whatnot and then they scoot on their butt to try and like put put pressure on it to express the like the glands effectively um i know dash hounds have a big problem with that because i got two friends uh, i got a friend with two dash hounds and they have to manually express their dog's anal glands to both dogs anal glands um it's not the best it's definitely not the best so while i was there um for the checkup i'm like oh yeah by the way she's scooting does that mean she has worms or something and they're like, nah, probably not. Let me check her butt. And then she's gone, yeah, anal glands are like a bit full. I'm like, alright. So they basically just like push on him and like some, you know, liquid comes out and it smells like fish. It's not the best. It smells like off off fish. It's really not that great. So other than that, yeah. <laughs> other than that, she's good. Um, horde of chicks. Oh, yeah. I've put them in my bookshelf, but you can't see the bookshelf. Hang on. Uh, it's awkward to do this with my left hand. This is like half of them. I can't also see my webcam because uh, I have chat on my other monitor. But there's there's like 10 of these bad boys. I have like an army. A little army of, of chuckens um, that are keeping me safe. They're very cute. They're very cute. I, I, I'm really annoyed actually that um with this study I can't have my my bookshelf in the background because that um wardrobe's there or the closet's there and that would mean that I couldn't actually get in to get my clothes. Uh, so the background is kind of lame. That's why I want to put a green screen up and stuff. But yeah, the bookshelf is next to me and uh, it's got the army of chickens in there which I just disrupted and uh, need to redo. But yeah, they're very cute. Um, what if one dog becomes a cat, then your dog is downgraded. I love every animal apart from moths, but dogs are the superior four-legged house pet. Um, we talk about doggies, buttholes. See, if we were a fishing streamer, we'd just be talking rubbish like that the whole time. <laughs> nice biology lesson. Uh, army of trucks will conquer the world. I hope so. It's like the it's like the chooks from um from Legend of Zelda, right? There's one, and you just piss it off, and then like the army just comes and destroys you. It's pretty great. What's wrong with moths? Moths? Oh, spook! How you doing, man? Moths are basically the worst thing that exists on the earth, apart from asparagus. If there was like a moth that ate asparagus and then attacked you, it would be the worst thing in the world. They're too memeish. No, I, I ever since I was a kid, I've hated moths. Um, I like, I like, I love insects and invertebrates and and, and all sorts of stuff, spiders and arachnids and all sorts of stuff. I love it. But moths, not so much. I don't like them for two reasons. One, they're dirty, like they they're dusty and stuff, and like they just like drop their dust everywhere and it's nasty. And two, they uh, they dive bomb your face, like. Every time you see it, they, they go into the lights and stuff and flick around, it's freaking annoying. 
but if they fly at you, it's always at your face. They never go like and hit you in the arm or the leg or the chest or something. It's literally at your face every single time. Um, they're so annoying, constantly flying to my light bulbs and TV screens and anything else that lights up. Yeah. Yeah. What about cockroaches? I mean, they're not great. You don't want a cockroach, right? It's, it's every house in the world, no matter how clean it is, no matter how pristine it is, no matter what is happening, every house in the world has cockroaches and mice and maybe rats, depending where you live and all the rest of it. Every house. It's just the way the world works. Um, and, and spiders and stuff. It's just, yeah, you can have the most, it, it doesn't matter. They just, they, they just get in and stuff. Especially if you live out like, uh, like if you're in a city, maybe not as, well, cockroaches, 100%, maybe not mice as much. But if you're out in the suburbs and, you know, there's trees and grass and parklands and all that sort of stuff, they just get in. It's just the way it goes. Uh, you know, they come in at night time, the mice come in at night time and, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, you might not have a mouse problem. Like, you might, they might not be in your house, like, running around foraging and, and trying to eat all your shit and whatnot. But 100% you'll have mice in, around your house and it, maybe in your garage or, or shed or whatever. It's just the way the world works. <clears throat> um, they see another moth, that's why the face. Maybe. Is that a legit fact or is that just something you, 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 you're throwing out there? I like how they look when they're just sitting on the wall, but they're pretty annoying when they start flying around and dive bomb you constantly. Uh, Tink against light bulb. No idea. <laughs> It'd be uh, that's why I was thinking, like, if they could see themselves in your eyeball, like, that's some good eyesight. Uh, the other thing about moths, which is the kind of the joke that I, I say um, to, like, anyone that, like, um, Monster Hunter people. It is basically a, a, a miniature invisible insect glaive user, and they're just trying to get your red essence. Right? It's like, mini insect glaive user is just chucking his, uh, his bug at you, at the face, trying to get the red essence. And that's all it is. That's what moths are. You know, he doesn't need the white essence, so your body's out of, out of thing. He doesn't need the green essence from your, like, your arms or something. He just wants that red essence, or she wants that red essence. So he just keeps throwing the kinsect slash moth at your face. If you're not a Monster Hunter person, that means absolutely nothing. But if you're a Monster Hunter person, uh, then yeah, that will mean something to you. Good to see you farming. Oh, I'm farming with the best of them. Let's do some more raids. I need to get this, um, I need to get, if I click over here, does the sound turn off? It doesn't, okay. Let's see if I can. Uh, image text font text zero out of zero okay did that work zero zero out of zero up the top left screen of the screen oh shit i turned chat off Yep. All right, mad. That's a Yeti counter. It's white as well because it's Yeti. Hang on, maybe I can make the, the text a bit better. Select font. Underline. Let's make it bold. Let's make it like... What size is it right now? Is 36 going to be huge? Oh, Jesus, that's massive. Look how big this is. That didn't change it at all. Why did that not change it? Let's just test. Nope. Okay. 36 is not huge. 48. 72. Okay. There we go. It's a bit bigger. We can change the font and stuff. Alien encounters. <laughs> okay. What was it? Because whatever it was, was okay. Oh god. This? That'll do. And we need to kind of move it a little bit too. Just move it slightly to the right. There we go. Okay. 
That's our Yeti counter. Oh wait, it's actually not zero from one. It's zero from zero. There we go. We've done it. We have done it. Uh, so that that is the Yeti counter for how many Yetis have come up for persuasion, and how many have um, have joined us, or how many have uh, no. We won't say how many have joined us because we don't really care how many have joined us. They, they're safe, but how many have? Um, well, I guess it's like one out of thirteen. How many have uh, fallen into the pit and are drowning? in their like cousins like liquid shit and stuff it's tiny on screen looks good now tiny is it small do you want me to make it bigger what are you farming i am farming um from raid one i'm farming three ragnars and from the yeti dungeon i'm farming 30 yetis is it is it small still or is it all right Small? Oh, shit, alright. It looks alright on my screen. Let me make it bigger then. That's as big as I can make it. Unless I can make a font, the font make it bigger. Is that better? Okay, we'll go with that. I want to make it more bold, though. I can't make that more bold. Whatever, we'll stick with that. It's fine. Good enough. Turn the audio off. There we go. All right, we're back. Uh, yeah, so that, that Yeti counter will only be for Yetis on stream. It won't be for uh, Yetis, like, just when I'm playing, like, off camera and stuff. Because it'll be too hard to remember and whatnot. But yeah, for Yetis on stream, we'll see how many fall into the pit. I also really need to make a graphic of that, but I can't draw for shit. And I don't think, I don't think you'd be able to see that as an emote. Like on a Twitch emote, like they're too small to make a Yeti pit. I don't know, maybe, maybe you could just like make a, like a, a 8 bit version. Or you just draw basically a circle and then just, I don't know, tiny, tiny little Yetis. I think it would be really, really hard to do. And I have no idea how to draw that shit online. Like, like you could just go into Photoshop and literally draw it. Yeah. It would be like that, but I think like a, a, a pit with Yetis in it, you, it would be too much, um, too much detail for an, for an emote. Open locked chest in raids. I got, just got to raid one. Nah, save it. Yeah, what Black Boy says, save it. Generally, you, you open, um, a Yeti with dead eyes. Yeah, we could do that. I have a Yeti emote. Um, ready to go. We just need one more sub for emotes to be active. Um, yeah, save your keys. Generally, you open chests in raids. Don't open them in um, in dungeons. Because when you open them in raids, you have a stupidly small chance, but still a, sm a chance of getting a legendary. Whereas in dungeons, you can't get legendaries in dungeons. So open them in raids, but I would save them until you're like max tier. And then that way you're getting like gear that you can actually use. So I would just, I would just hoard them for ages. Fun fact about cockroaches, they're actually pretty clean. Most of the time people think cockroaches make this, um, things dirty, when actually it's the dirty places that attract cockroaches because of what they eat. And because they eat dirty stuff, uh, they place in, the place in their in gets cleaner. There you go. Also, they survive like nuclear fallout and stuff and they're just, apart from like crushing them to death, they're incredibly hard to kill. Still, <laughs> cockroaches are great. <laughs> 
Yeah. So we need we need one more sub to make emotes active. I'm fairly sure. And I've already got um, a Yeti and a Sex Horse emote. Good to go. As far as I'm aware, I'm, I'm still learning Twitch, but as far as I'm aware, we've got a Yeti and a Sex Horse to go. I don't know how many emotes you get as as a as a sub, as a partner, as an affiliate. Sorry, if you get partner, I'm, I think it opens more. But I'm new to I'm new to um to Twitch, so I'm not too sure. So Aircom, those those emotes that you've got there, where are they from? Bite Reaper, welcome, dude. Uh, legendaries are really rare in, in raids. Uh, in raids in general, or in raids in the in the skeleton chests. Someone gifted me a, ga a sub in Gav, Gav stream. Oh, that's his emote. Okay. In general. Uh, no, that, well, I mean, yeah, they are. Because if you did a raid and you got a legendary of like every raid or two, it would kind of defeat the purpose. Um, but yeah, they're not, not unachievable. Do you, you probably like, I don't know. I don't know. There's, I don't know what the percentage is. But it, the percentages don't really mean anything because it's RNG. You could have a you could have a fifty percent chance, such as um, or twenty five percent chance, sorry, such as the um, the the five k accessory boxes. And you're like, okay, a quarter of the time, I'm gonna get a legendary. So doing the math, if I buy four, by the time I buy four, I've got you know a good chance of getting um, a legendary, like twenty five percent times four. Um, you know, th there's a chance by the time I buy four that, you know, with the percentage and stuff that I should have one. I've bought 10 plus and I still haven't got one. So the percentages don't really mean shit. It shows you like the, the average percentage of, of what you, what should drop, but you could do, if, if it was a 99% dro of dropping something, uh, there's that 1% that it won't. And you know, you could do a hundred things and get that 1% every single time. So the percentages are there to show you you know how, how often it will drop but that doesn't mean it, it actually will also there's a good chance that those percentages aren't accurate at all and they're just putting them up to kind of lull pe people into a false sense of security so they're like oh shit this has got like this drop chance i'll do it and then it's not actually accurate we've talked about this before so i won't go into it but a lot of um mobile apps and stuff have been shut down and there's been lawsuits and stuff for that reason because they'll just put up like fake numbers and then it comes out data mining or i don't know what it is that they're not actually accurate and back in the day they didn't need to put up percentages they just said you know this is in this box or something and you just bought it like um loot boxes and stuff because loot boxes are a horrible mechanic um <clears throat> and you would just open it and you know never get the thing you wanted because there might have only been a one percent chance of it dropping so then they made the law that you have to put the percentage chances up I think that's true at least and so they put the percentage chances up but who knows whether they're actually accurate i'm sure there's companies that still aren't accurate they just put it up and eventually the truth comes out or whatever um yeti pit yeah we could definitely do a yeti with crossed out eyes or just a yeti in general i don't know uh i guess i'm not really lucky then because i unlocked raids today did five runs uh sorry you are lucky and got a headpiece yeah that's lucky yeah um, I did legitimately, not even joking. I did 102 raids before I got my first legendary when I got to raid one, because, um, if you go into your, if you go into your character sheet, it shows you how many raids you've completed somewhere, um, somewhere, somewhere raids completed 8,006. So when you get to raid one, like every one of these is done, you know it's been raid one. You, so you know every single number of this is that you've done is the same raid. Uh, and it was 102 or 103 or something before I got my first legendary. So that's my RNG, right? My RNG in this game is horrible, generally. Um, whereas like Bop and Zill's RNG and stuff is amazing. So 102 raids for first um, first legendary. So, which is absurd. That's, that's definitely not that rare. I just got really, really unlucky for that. Um, but getting a legendary in first five raids is pretty good. <clears throat> I did 10 token duffels when I could start doing Trials Gauntlet and got three pieces of Merciless the first day at 680. Stupidly good. 
yeah, your your RNG is uh is huge, man. Yours and Bob. Um, I don't know. You guys are you guys are insane. It's too bad. Uh, there's no way to check how many times you've done each individual, right? Yeah, I agree. They, I think that would be a good mechanic, uh, or not not really a mechanic, a good quality of life thing to show how many times you've done each raid, how many times a familiar's come up for persuasion, how many times you've caught them, all that type of thing. Because then you could kind of like not do the math so much, but you can make a correlation in your head of just like, ah, shit, like Drifen is so hard to get because he's come up for persuasion 56 times and I've got, you know, three of him or something like that. Whereas if you go in, you're like, okay, I need a blubber. He's come up 56 times. I've got like 15 of him or something. It kind of shows that rather than just people telling you that. Because if someone tells you like, you know, I, I can offer as much advice as I want. And that doesn't mean people are going to take it or believe that it's true. Whereas if there's hard facts like that, then you can kind of like showcase that that's the real thing. So I keep telling people that um, raid epics like like Shade are a lot uh, harder to catch than dungeon epics. They're, they're still the same percentage chance of catching. So they're still the same difficulty of catching. They just come up for persuasion so much less than dungeon fans do. So the whole um, lore of percentages and stuff we were just talking about before, you're going to catch more dungeon fans than raid fans because a raid fan might show up well in the, in the time it takes the raid fam you're after to show up you might have have you may have had like five dungeon fams show up by that stage and considering they're the same percentage chance of of getting them um you know five times is better than one time type thing but if you had hard facts like that um it would showcase it a bit more but not to be. Another thing I really want them to bring in. Oh, hang on, I'll just catch up on chat. Zilpha's RNG with a, with an X is nice. He's super lucky, yeah. Uh, that would allow guys to figure drop rates percentages. Never going to happen. Yeah, that's the thing, right? <clears throat> well, loosely, all right? They, they can't know it 100%, but devs keep all that shit close to their chest for the reasons we just talked about before uh, i got two pieces of merciless within a couple of weeks being able to do 680 then didn't get any sets for five weeks i only get two in the same day um yeah i've been doing 680 for probably nearly two months still not one legendary set or mythic just nothing just absolutely nothing you've never had shade come up um that sucks oh speaking of shade i caught one yesterday I now have five. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh my god. Five. I have five shades. I have the raid um, dungeon, uh, the raid epics that I need to plus five Rimuroid. I just need all the dungeon epics to do it. If I wanted to plus five a Rimuroid for PvP, could do, but that would then eat into our Yeti time. Um, we can look at the Remoraid, um, schematic and, and take a look at that as well. You know what sucked? I went into bed last night. Oh, I guess that's an accurate thing. I went to bed. I got into bed last night. <clears throat> and, um, Luna sleeps on the bed. And as we've discussed a lot, she's the fluffiest cat of all time. And so her hair gets everywhere. And particularly on like the bed, we have at the moment, because it's winter and it's freaking freezing, uh, we just have the, the duna or the duvet or whatever you want to call it. And then we have like a blanket on top of that just to stay extra warm. But because she sleeps on it and during the day she's on it as well and stuff, uh, a lot of her hair like rolls up into little balls and like little like, um, yeah, little balls, I guess, little piles effectively. And they're all like they're in the bed and stuff and they're attached to the blanket and whatnot but they come off also pretty easy and that's why they get all over your clothes and whatnot anyway I got into bed and you know when you get into bed and you like open the covers and you get in and then you close the covers like a rush of air from under the covers comes up because air has to leave the bed right that that makes sense or if you move over like sometimes air just from the bed comes and pushes you um, hits you in the face type thing that happened, but one of the piles or, or pills, sorry, not piles, pills or little hairball -y things came with it and I had my mouth open and it like, it just went straight into the back of my throat 
and I had like a coughing, little coughing fit and stuff, and I'm allergic to cat hair, or cats, uh, sorry. And so the whole night I was like, <clears throat> and I can still feel the badness in the back of my throat. So that sucked. That was not the best, especially going to bed and trying to sleep and you just got this like little thing in the back of your throat. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I swallowed it, but it, it already did the damage. <clears throat> bra button? Bra? What's a bra button? I know not of this phrase. Everyone, well, uh, I always say something and then I instantly, instantly contradict myself. Not everybody, but a lot of the whales have um, bought that pack. I've seen that mount in this cosmetic a lot. Like, Eagle bought it. I think Eagle bought it and on his alt as well, so that's like 60 bucks, which is whatever. Um, and then, you know, a day later, went back to this mount. So it's, it's weird. It's weird seeing people buy it and then not even use it. Just like buy it just for cosmetics and then don't even use the cosmetics. <laughs> it's a bit strange. <laughs> Try putting a different colored towel on your bed because of cat laws should probably sit on that instead of the blanket. And then you can move it somewhere else before getting into bed. Uh, I can try that, but she doesn't sleep on um, like, she doesn't sleep at the end of the bed or something, she sleeps literally on top of me. Not on top, like, uh, my wife Camille, like, th like, her whole life is just wanting cats. Anything to do with cats, she's just, like, mad obsessed with Luna. And all she wants is Luna to sleep on her. She's just like, oh, I so wanted to just, like, lay on me and I can pat her and it's nice and, you know, it's like comfort and all this sort of stuff. But she thrashes around like she's a restless sleeper, whereas I just like lay fairly still. So Luna just always sleeps on top of me. Um, so I doubt that would work, but I can definitely try it. Like just put something down the end of the bed that's different colored and see. And at the moment we've got um, hot water bottles. Is that a th Are they a thing in the US, hot water bottles? Um, I'm from Bobby, welcome dude. Good to see you. Uh, anyway, hot water bottle. If, if it's not a thing where you are, it's just a rubber, like, a big rubber sleeve thing effectively, and you fill it up with boiling water, and it just, it just stays hot for like a couple of hours, and you put it at your, um, you put it at your feet, or well, wherever you want, but you put it, I put it at my feet when I'm in bed, and it just like, keeps you a bit warm. It's pretty good. Like what they do, M401, welcome dude. Uh, can you tell me why you play this game? <laughs> um, okay, still no Yeti. Uh, I, I, I don't know. It's fun, I guess. Um, I mean, it's less fun than what it used to be, because I've been playing it for a long ass time. We went through this on Discord, actually, the other day. Oh, I can't do it, because I'm in, I'm in a dungeon. We'll, after this, if I remember, we'll do it. Best game ever? <laughs> Don't know about that, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's a pretty good mobile game, right? It's on, on Steam as well, which is what I'm doing right now, but you know, it's one of those idly things where you just click it and it, it does it for you if you're on auto, that is, and uh, auto is the only way to go, in my eyes. And you just log in once in a while and do it and, you know, it's fun, um, but it's, it's definitely lost its luster and charm for me um, as much as it used to when I started playing, because when I started playing, um, I played for like a year, a year and a bit maybe a year and a half and then I started making guides on it because as I said like there were no guides and I got a few people into the game and they were asking me all these questions like what about this what about that what about this what about that and I'm like I should just make a guide video and then just send them that and then you know it might help a few people like I thought maybe to get like a couple hundred views or something and help some people I had no idea that it was going to blow up all those guide videos blew up as much as they they did or have and they're continuing to get views like and more people are coming in and, and saying thank you and thank you and asking questions and stuff which is nice um to help people and whatnot like i think the the episode one of the guide video it's like up to fifty five thousand views or something which is mental uh considering i've only got three 3.4k subs or something so it's like you know 
well, well, well above my sub count um, of views. So that's pretty good. So I had no idea they were going to blow up like that. Um, so yeah, it's pretty exciting, I guess. Um, not sure if hot water bottles are a thing in America, but I know they're a thing in England because that's where I live. Yeah, they're definitely a thing in England. Uh, Adventure pack was token duffels and a bub girl tonight. So good. It's not a thing in America. All right. So back in the day, like back in, I don't know, the day, we'll say. They used to put, uh, like a, a metal pan effectively in the bed with, I think it might've been coals or, or something. It was something, it was something hot, like really damn hot. And they put it in the bed, um, at the, like at the foot of the bed uh, to like warm the bed and like the end of the bed up and stuff. But you just like, you just couldn't touch it because it was literally a metal container full of something hot. It wasn't water. I think it was coals or something stupidly hot. And then, um, it's not a fire hazard, no. And then, um, I think it might have been like self-contained and stuff. So like just a really, not hot enough that it's just going to combust whatever it's in. But if it was open and the things touched the coals, then yeah. Uh, but that, that was effectively what it was. It was like a fire, pan, uh, a metal pan full of something. I don't know the, the exact details or, or what it was, but that was effectively what it was. And then over the years, you know, technology and, and, and just um, refining techniques and all that sort of stuff. Um, they just made them out of rubber and used water. Technically, you're not meant to put boiling water in because uh, it does like melt the plastic and eventually the, it ruptures and you get like boiling water everywhere. So you have to replace them like once a year. Uh, well, you should at least. Um, you're technically meant to just put hot water in there, but hot water like doesn't last. You put boiling water in and uh, it's pretty great. So for those cold nights and stuff, they're really good. You just chuck it in the bed next to you or I, I put it in my feet. Um, it's really good. And that's what they used to do, put the, put the pan in the, in the feet. Oh shit, there's the sub. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Appreciate it a lot. And that should have unlocked um, emotes. I don't know whether I need to activate that. I don't know if it automatically activated that. Uh, coal pans were a thing back in colonial times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Bite Reaper, welcome as well. Um, that's what I, that's, yeah, back in the day. I had no idea when it was. Um, but yeah, definitely that's what it was. Warming pans. There you go. But hot water bottles are like the current day version of that. And they're fantastic. You can also, like, when you're sitting on the couch or something, um, braziers. Braziers are the, the, like, torch things that you light, right? They're like the iron things that you taught, uh, that you light with the torch to just light up a room back in, like, the old days. Uh, if you wanted the top monster, top of the monster from licking your toes, you just need to wear wet socks to bed. If you want to top the monster from licking your toes, what? Um, yeah, so that should have unlocked emotes. Do, do we have emotes now? Or do I need to do something to unlock the, the emotes? Let me quickly check. Um, if I can. I can't read chat right now, so apologies if people are saying something. <laughs> We've had nothing come up for persuasion yet as well, which is a bit dickish. It's, it's a tad, a tad dickish. Uh, that is not what I wanted to do. Oh, we've lost audio. There we go. Hopefully that worked. Uh, uh, settings, channel. I forget where to go to do this as well. Affiliate. Uh, emotes, here we go. Wait. Get 15 subscriber points. Reward plus one emote. Oh wait. Reward plus one emote slot. To, to two emotes? Okay, it didn't save. Somehow it didn't save. Maybe we had emotes this whole time, but it, 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 it didn't save. All right, let me try and do it quickly while we're while we're doing this. Uh, okay, let's see. I need a unique and unique code. The code will cap uh, be capitalized and appended after your emote prefix. Alpha characters only and a maximum of 20. The hell does that mean? I'm just gonna type Yeti. Save changes. 
You've already uploaded a moat for your $4.99 subscription? I thought I did. <laughs> Pil f please feel free to swap an emote for a new one by clicking edit. Selecting the emotes you wish to remove. Click delete then submitting a new emote. Okay, did that work? I don't know if that worked. It definitely says the emote it's pending. I don't I don't even know how to use emotes. Is it just like you click the little thing? What if we do like Does this work? That did not work. Needs to be approved by Twitch. Okay. Well, I tried. <laughs> uh, we did have 14 out of 15 subscriber points as well. And um, Kaiser's thing should have gone to 15. Unless someone unsubbed or, or the sub ran out. I don't know. I don't know how it works, man. I'm, I'm new, to, new to Twitch. So. Either way. I've made, I've made the... Uh, I've made the emote, so hopefully it works at some point. No biggie. We've got the we've got the badges. <clears throat> Either way, we'll see. We'll see how long it takes to get approved or something. And I'm assuming the um the code doesn't really matter because you can just go into the emotes um page and just click on it, right? So like, if I just go in here and click on um, this. Yeah. Did I get my new hat? I did, man. The Chook Army, the hat. It's pretty good. No, it was really good. Thank you. It was amazing. I got it all. I assume I got it all, at least. I mean, it was all taped up and stuff. I doubt it. It was open. It sounded like someone just came in the house. Yeah, someone's definitely here. I have no idea who it is, but someone's definitely here. <clears throat> but Camille works from home, so I don't really need to go check. Matter of truth. Uh, live on Twitch. That shit's happened, man. Not murder, but that shit's happened. Like people have been robbed at gunpoint and stuff while streaming, and it's everyone's like seen it, and like people called the cops and stuff. It's pretty crazy. Like there was raids on people's houses and stuff like that, and they're like, what? Ah, oh, it's the it's the um, the plumber. Yeah, if you if you YouTube it, um, uh, like streamer robbed on camera or something, and uh, I guess they didn't know that they were streaming. <laughs> it's a Mario, uh, and it just caught the whole thing. And people people literally called up the police and said, "I'm watching this person. And they're getting robbed." Da -da -da -da. I, I guess the the streamer told them where they lived or like what you know. I live in. Melbourne or maybe the, the, the um, suburb or something. So I live in Frankston. So if you guys see me getting murdered, you can just ring up the Australian police and being like, there's a dude streaming in Frankston that's dying. I don't know really how it worked, but anyway. Um. <laughs> NCIS had an episode about that back in the day. She faked it. Oh, really? Oh, well, there you go. No, we had... um. We've been having, uh, like, our water bills have been extraordinarily, uh, extraordinarily high, like, like, four times what we've had in the past, um, like, just stupidly high, and we haven't done anything different, so we think we've got a leak somewhere. <clears throat> so we're getting a plumber to come out and take a look. I forgot he was coming. 
NCIS is hilar hilariously dumb when it comes to technology there. Um, that's the one with Abby, right? The gothic, gothic girl? Is that NCIS? I forget which one's which. The only, like, cop show thing that I ever watched properly was, um, Law and Order SVU. <clears throat> with, like, Stabler and stuff. That show was awesome. And Ice-T and all that. <laughs> uh, no, that's not true. Uh, I, I actively watch Criminal Minds. I like that show. Uh, murdered on stream, sex channel, but no body found. Ended up she faked- Oh, that's definitely not what I'm talking about. Uh, ended up she faked her own death and used the stream to validate that she died. Um, like that episode, the two people are, um, are typing on a single keyboard together. Gibbs figured it out. The Kraken. Uh, Mr. Kraken, sorry. Blue Bloods for the win and Criminal Minds. Criminal Minds is great. Um... George Foyette was my hero. Who's George Foyette? I, I guess that's an actor name. Sucks now. I don't like that the new cast. Um. Oh, okay. At least capture rate is a success. We had one something show up. Redhead from Water Rats. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. Fuck you. Get in the pit. Get in the pit. Zero. Oops. Zero from one. Yeti. Oh my god. It's so hard to type when you've got a massive microphone in front of your face. Okay, Yeti. Take it slow. Pit. Deaths. Zero out of one. Oh, no. Yeti, Yeti. Eh, that'll do. Yeti pit deaths seems like it's, um, there's been zero out of one deaths, which is not accurate. We'll just write Yeti pit. That'll make more sense. There we go. Do, do, do. Bribe it? <laughs> yeah, just bribe 30 of them. No worries. Uh, the original cast for Criminal Minds was way better. Yeah. Um, when Paget Br Brewster left, uh, it was like a sad day, but now she's back and she's the boss. It's freaking awesome. I don't know. I don't mind the new cast so much. All right. But yeah, Paget's my favorite by Emily Prentice. She's my favorite by a long shot. Bribing the whale method. We're doing free to play here. Yeah, free to play all the way. You need to make a picture of Yeti Pit. If you can make a picture of Yeti Pit as the um, as the emote, that would be awesome, dude. If you if you're willing to do that to help out or whatever, because I I don't know how to do it, man. I I, I can't draw for shit. If you want to do that, um, to like help the channel and stuff, that would be amazing. Only if you want to, of course. <clears throat> I need to get onto Trash Craft as well to get some channel art done. I can't afford to pay anyone, that's the problem. But I can put like, um, credits and stuff in the descriptions and whatnot. Have we got one more? We don't have one more. And we don't have natural regen because I did fours and fives. Okay. We only got four requests, two requests, sorry, from being in town, two requests from, um, from chat. So that's slightly disappointing. Let's go back to the guild hall. 66 in an hour then again you are full merciless and like a beast and whatnot so i'm just some some scrub with a gun uh i can draw or paint well uh it would be a picture i mean like canvas on paper or paper okay um i mean you could draw it then you could scan it and then you could send it to me and then I could resize it in Photoshop and put it up as an emote. But that's what I mean, like all the detail and stuff, putting it that small, it would be lost. All the detail would be lost. Um, but yeah, if anyone can do like bit art and stuff, then that would be cool. But anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that later or something. That is Bit Heroes, capture rate done. Um, there's not going to be any raid, regen. We're only at 18 thing and we did all the trials expedition and goal um pvp and stuff so that's it donezo finished kaput we didn't get anything <laughs> literally nothing 
Uh, we did get one Yeti come up for Persuasion, but that was it. Uh, so he's in the pit, he's decomposing. Well, he's not decomposing yet. He's, uh, he's drowning in decomposing brethren and, uh, gasping for air. Good try. <laughs> well, I gave it a college try, right? Good stream anyway. Thanks, man. Um, okay. If you, if you're interested in the Dark Souls 2 playthrough, stay tuned. We're going back to that in a very short amount of time. I'll probably just go to the bathroom and stuff. Ooh, I don't know if I can go to the bathroom because there's a, uh, a plumber here. That's interesting. I might have to go, like, drop a log in the, in the bucket or something. It's not the best. Anyway, if you're up for, uh, if you want to continue with Dark Souls 2, stay tuned. Be a few minutes. Uh, otherwise, if you're here for Bid Heroes, that is it. I will continue another Capture 8 stuff on Thursday. Um, so, yeah. Alright. Well, hopefully you enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye!